Hey guys, William Justice here. Today we're going to make this awesome rolling text animation in DaVinci Resolve using Fusion. This animation is pretty easy to set up. We're going to do a little bit of cropping. We're going to throw some expressions on it. We're going to use a DVE node to kind of shift some perspective. Um, so let's dive in and take a look and we'll walk, I'm going to walk you through and show you how I built it. If you're enjoying my videos, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below to let me know how I'm doing. I'd love to hear from you. All right, rolling text animation time. Let's set up our background. We're going to take a background node and drag it into the node area. Take the output of the background and merge it right into media out. And there we go, we have our black background. Let's add a text node. We'll take the text node and drag it into the node area and take the output of the text node and put it, merge it right on top of background one. We're gonna adjust our text style. Let's make the tracking a little bit bigger. Okay, first time in one of my videos, we're gonna use a little bit of AI in the video. We're gonna have a chat GPT pick out a word for us to put in our animation. We're looking for uh, 10 fun seven letter words. Let's see what we get. All right, let's, uh, let's choose swizzle. Actually, some of these uh, jamboree, I think that might be a little bit more than seven letters. Let's try swizzle. And I wanna make it all uppercase. Okay, there's our text. So what we're, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna create a background filled with all of our letters so that we can scroll them around. What we can do is we can go to the merge node and set edges to wrap. Now you're not gonna see anything because the text is takes up the full composition, but you'll notice when we take the merge and sh start moving it, the text is really wrapping. It's just the full size of the text is as big as our composition. So we need to make it a little bit smaller and we're gonna use a crop node to do this. So with text one selected, hit control space and search for crop. And we're gonna add that in. The crop node always kind of frustrated me. Let's take a look at that. Um, when you adjust the X size, everything that what you want in the middle gets shifted out. The same thing with the Y size. And you know, I probably knew this, but I think it's one of these things I forgot. There's a couple of super helpful, helpful controls with the crop node that make it a lot easier to do. So you can choose auto crop and click auto crop and it automatically crops everything to the exact size of the output of this text. So now when we go take a look at the merge, you can see that everything is cropped in and it's repeating. And if we take the merge and we move it, we'll see the whole background is shifting. And we're gonna use this to create our animation, but it's a little bit too close together. So let's reset that crop. And I'm gonna show you one other thing that's really helpful. Um, reset the crop and go to crop. And right here, this is when you do the X size and it just, it really gets messed up. Um, select the crop again and Y size. All right, so everything's kind of shifted. Just click keep centered and it's gonna center your content right in the middle of what you're cropping and it makes it really easy to use. So this is what I, I, I probably knew about this, but I forgot about it. Um, so I'll probably be using it again real soon. And we can adjust the X and Y to fit right where we want. And let's take a look at the output right now. So click media out and hit two. We want this a little bit closer together. So let's click, let's click the crop and adjust the X size and bring that in a little bit and adjust the Y size. And it's just that easy. All right, there we go. All right, we have our background, we can animate it, looks good. Now we just need to isolate the letters. So we're gonna isolate the odd letters and have the odd letters shift one way and the even letters shift the other way. So there's a couple ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the obvious way first, which is probably not the best way to do it. Um, there's something that ends up being a lot more flexible, but I'm gonna show you the obvious one first. We're just gonna mask out each of these letters. We're gonna take a rectangle mask and put it into the mask input of the merge and size that down. And we're gonna start with the S. Let's make it just right on top of that S. And there we go, we have the S isolated and you'll see if when we use the merge we can get this uh, the beginnings of our animation going i'm going to copy the rectangle and paste it and i'm going to chain it right into the pr the first rectangle and we're going to slide it over so it's s w so this one is going to be the i we're doing every other letter that looks good let's do it one more time copy paste i'm going to move this over this is z this is going to be for the second z and one more we're gonna copy paste chain it right in and gonna move this on top of the E. There we go, so all of these letters are moving together. Let's click on this merge and we're gonna create one more merge and this is gonna be for the letters going the other direction. So we click the merge, take the output of our crop and put it into the merge. Now obviously um, we're gonna see all of the letters here. So these four rectangles are our mask where they're masking off the odd letters. Now we just need to mask off the even letters. This is two, four, and six. We're gonna take the, these masks and put it into merge two. And all we need to do is invert it. And there we have all our letters. Now when we move merge two, okay, let's uh, disable the merge one and we'll take a look at merge two here. You see when we move it, everything shifts down. Now, so what we need to do here is we need to adjust a couple different things. So we're gonna go into merge two and we're gonna set it to wrap 
so we see uh, they see the full thing and then we just need to mask out so that it's not showing everything we only want it to show these letters right here so what we're going to do is we're going to take another rectangle let's take the other rectangle and put it into the merge we're going to uncheck apply mask inverted take the rectangle and move it right over the letters in the middle and then we're going to take our chain of rectangles our, our chain of masks and put it into this bigger rectangle and we're going to choose in this rectangle we're going to go to the controls and we're going to set it to invert now let's take a look at our merge 2 and as we shift it we're only seeing the letters inside of the uh, the mask so let's let's make that mask a little bit tighter all right there we go this is the basic setup we have, we can shift the shift the odd letters and then we can shift the even letters as i mentioned there is a much better way to do this Okay, so here's the problem. So let's go to our text and maybe we want to make an adjustment. Maybe we want to maybe we want to change the word, add more letters. There's lots of different things we might want to do. But because the master is set up to be with this specific spacing, you change the spacing and everything's going to get messed up. So if we come into our text and maybe we want to make it a little bit smaller. We go there and then once we start moving things, all of the masks are off because they're not lined up anymore. There's a uh, much more flexible way to do this. Let's get rid of these masks. And we're going to come in. Let's reset the merges here and adjust the crop. Bring in a little bit because we resized everything. We're going to make an instance of this text. So select the text and copy it and hit Control Shift V. And now we have an instance of our text. We're going to have this instance is going to be for the even or odd, and this one's going to be for the other one. Let's click the instance text and right click on the text property and choose D instance. So in this instance, we're going to be able to change some of the, the text properties. Right click on this and choose character level styling. Okay, let's put this in the viewer. So what we're going to do is we're just going to disable some of the letters. So let's highlight, uh, let's go to click on modifier in the inspector. Let's click on modifiers. We're going to select the W and go to shading and we're going to bring the opacity down. We're going to select the next Z and bring the opacity down and the L and bring the opacity down. So there we go. We have the other set of letters. We'll take the crop node. We're going to copy it and control shift V. We're going to paste an instance. Take the output of the instance text with the odd letters, and we're going to put that into our crop. And then we're going to take the output of the crop and put it into the merge. So let's disable the first merge and take a look at the next one. And you see this is exactly what we want. We can take this and we're shifting only the odd letters. Now we want to do the other side. So let's disable the merge two and take a look at the odd letters. So right now all the letters are showing up because if we take a look at this text, it has all the letters in it. So let's just mask those out. So we're going to take our instance text, take a look at that, which is these letters, and we're going to take the output of this and put it into the mask input of text one. Now let's take a look at text one. So to take that mask off is everything. We put the mask, put the mask back in, and it took, takes out those letters. But we want the other letters, so all we need to do is invert it. So let's hit this text one, go to settings, and apply mask inverted. And there we go. So we have the other set of letters. So now when we go to merge one, we can shift these around. Now you'll notice that, the, I'm not sure if you can see this, if it's shown up on YouTube, but there's a, a little outline, a little shadow there for the mask. And we can just clean that up real quick by going to text one and choose the, in the alpha channel here, we can just take the level, the high level and bring it down. And there we go. It is gone. And we have the uh, basic setup for our text. Let's take a look at the media out. And here you go. We can shift these, this one up and down, and then we can shift the other side up and down. All right, let's set up our animation. So we're going to reset both of these nodes. So let's, uh, we're going to take a re rectangle mask and we're going to put it into both of these guys right here, both the merge one and merge two. And I'm going to size the mask to go right over the swizzle like that. So now when we shift it, all right, that's exactly what we want. Okay, let's set up the letter animation. We're going to go to merge two and we're going to go to the first frame. We'll set a keyframe. Let's go over about 60 frames. And we'll set another keyframe and we'll go back to the beginning and we're going to just take the center position of the merge and just slide it down a bit. You can slide it down however far you want. It's going to go, the more you slide it down, the faster it's going to go. Let's adjust the spline. We're going to have it start out fast and kind of slow down a little bit. So let's go to the spline editor, hit displacement, select all of the keyframes, and we're going to hit the curve option. Let's have it start out moving pretty fast. We're going to bring this up. Let's put a point in the middle and bring it down. 
it's gonna kind of go fast, slow down a bit, and then kind of kind of do a two level of a, two levels of animation. It slows down and then it speeds up. The odd letters are going one way. We want the even letters to go the opposite direction. So we're gonna use an expression to do this. Let's click on merge one, right click on the center property and choose expression. See, it's a point, it has X and Y. So the second parameter is the Y position. We're gonna set this to be merge two dot center dot Y. So this is gonna match the transition of merge two, but we want it to go in the opposite direction. We're gonna use an expression to do this. So let's set it to 0.5 plus 0.5 minus merge two dot center dot Y. And because it's a minus, it's gonna set it to go in the opposite direction. All right, we're getting started here. This, look, this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna add a few more effects onto this. So we're gonna take another background node and take the output of this and merge it into the background. We're gonna disconnect this uh, rectangle mask and we're gonna use this again down here. So we're gonna take the rectangle mask and put it into this merge and we're gonna merge this into the media out. Now the reason we did this is because I wanna add some more stuff in the background here. To do this, we're gonna take the output of this merge, which is the full, anima the full animation, and we're gonna put that, merge it right on top of this background, and take the alpha and bring it down on this blend. Let's take a look at what we have. Let's bring it down a little bit more. I'm gonna do some zooming in perspective to add a little movement, make it a little bit more dynamic. Let's take these nodes and move them up. We're getting pretty close. Outside of this merge um, three, let's put a DVE node. Now the DVE is gonna allow us to zoom in and out as well as do some perspective changes. So let's reset it. Now you notice that when we zoom out, we still have some of the text in there, but we the background is kind of messing it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here, go to this background and take the alpha all the way down. And we're gonna to go to this background and take, all, take the alpha all the way down. Then we need to do one more merge on top of another black background and to the media out. And this is gonna be our final setup here. So all we need to do is animate the DVE. You can see we can go zoom out as far as we want and zoom in a lot. So we're gonna start on the first frame. Let's zoom it out a bit and set a keyframe. We'll go to frame 60, which is where the other animation stops. And we're gonna zoom this in. And let's go to the spline editor, select all our points. Do a little easing on this. And we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do that hesitation right in the middle as well. So right where it gets there, we're gonna click right here kind of flatten it out so it'll kind of stop zooming for a bit and then it's going to resume. Okay, let's do some perspective changes. Let's go to the first frame and keyframe the X and Y. And I'm just going to shift these. I'm not even going to worry about it too much. I'm going to shift them a little bit and then go to frame 60. I'm just going to shift them back the other ways. And we're going to select both of those keyframes and let's ease them in, ease them a little bit. We'll do the hesitation in the middle. Click that point. Move that line so it kind of flattens out the animation. We'll do this one as well. Just offset them just a little bit, make it a little interesting here. And let's see what we got. I think I want that swinging back the other way when we get to the end. Let's try that. A little more zoomed in. Last thing we're going to do here. Okay, let's see what the, let's render this and see what it looks like. Um, the trick here was using this instance text with the character level styling so that we could get uh, every other letter. And then we use that as a mask on the original text and got the other set of letters. Put those into the merges and animated the merges and used an expression to flip it the opposite direction. Okay, now I want to show you the, the benefit of doing this every other letter thing with the with the instance text and the character level styling. We have these letters and these letters, and this is where the masking would really get us messed up. So let's say we wanted to adjust this text. Maybe we wanna make it bigger, smaller. Let's change the font. Right there, and now the text is a little bit different, but all we need to do is go to the crop node and adjust the X and Y size, and adjust the X size and bring that in, and go to the output, and there we go, we have a new text. Let's click this merge node here to see what we got. There's our letter, uh, there's our word. Now Now that we need to do is take the crop and bring it in a little bit, bring these words closer together. So we're just, we're just adjusting this one crop. 
and let's click on the merge to see what we have. And then the last thing we do is go to that, go down to this merge right here and take this rectangle and bring it in and just put it right on the word. It's much easier than adjusting the masking for each of the letters. Just a couple little things and the word has changed a lot more flexible. Let's take a look at the output. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, comment below and let me, let me know what you think. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Got more videos coming soon. Um, can't wait to get them out. Um, a lot of fun stuff coming up. Thank you.